The Overwatch end of season hero balance patch notes have come out, we're going to be discussing them and seeing how it can affect the overall meta. If you're new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. Starting with Orisa, her Fortify is reduced from 125 to 75 health bonus. Pretty significant nerf, but she's still a powerhouse and will still take reduced damage for an extended period of time, and all her other abilities stay the same, so she's still a force to deal with. I know they want to put her into the meta, and while this is going to hurt her a little bit, this won't affect her so much that she falls off hard. Now we go to Fatboy Roadhog. I love how they put, These changes aim to reduce the frustration of dying in one shot immediately after being hooked and pulled into Roadhog. So the impact damage from his hook is reduced from 30 to 5 damage. Massive nerf. And the distance he hooks the characters in is increased from 3 to 4 meters. Meaning, they won't be as close, and if you know Roadhog, he does better close range with his weapon. So since the weapon spread won't do as much from a longer range, yeah, he's gonna have a massively harder time getting a limbs from the hook combo. For his scrap cannon, damage reduced from 6.6 .6 to 6 damage. Little nerf. Recovery time reduced from 0.85 to 0.8 seconds slight buff reload time reduced from 2 to 1.75 seconds pretty big buff max ammo increased from 5 to 6 big buff so from what it looks like they want to have the combo with his hook to be limited but now overall he can output damage faster so like he's balanced i guess in terms of his hook and now it seems that he can't rely on it as much we're gonna have to see how this plays out, but I'm glad hook combo got nerfed because that combo was like Roadhog's main strategy. Going to Sojourn, they made any primary fire hit against an enemy yield you 5 energy. You're making her charge up become faster than Sonic the Hedgehog? Yes, she can't headshot people from the old nerf, but now she can get her crit on a headshot like twice as fast. So now you're charging up a headshot much faster, and now the main goal for Sojourn is going to be charge up as much as you can and shoot nonstop, and those who are skilled with aim going to climb the ranks really fast with her. And to balance her, damage from each projectile is going from 10 to 9. But chances are, she's going to be used for headshots. Pocket her with Mercy, and it's basically game over. And to continue to kick me while I'm down, we go to Kiriko. Waifu has her healing tags recovery time increased from 0.85 to 1 so she can't do as much healing output per second. Yes, tanks in this update got nerfed, which was well needed, and I'm glad they stepped in the right direction with that, but that doesn't mean you have to do that with a support like Kiriko. And then, in my opinion, buff Sojourn. Anyway, just wanted to make a quick video on this update. Let me know what you all think down below. As always, thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos if you want to, and I'll catch you all in the next one.